How are you, my dear students? I hope everyone is okay and fine. In the previous class, you know we just explained about the classification of invertebrate animals. In the invertebrate animals, first phylum is the Porifera. You know what's the Porifera? And second structure is the Nidaria, third is the Platyhelminthes, and fourth is the Nematoda. In the today, I just explained the next four phylum. Here's the four phylum. First, the first structure is the Inlida. Second is the Arthropoda. Four is the uh, Mollusca, and five is the and next is the Echinodermata. Now, please, if you are see the books, first structure is Inlida. Here's the Inlida. These words come from the Latin words. In the Latin words, Inlida means segmented and all, and also the ring shaped structure. Here's the ring shaped structure. I just draw the first structure in the earth one. Please, everyone, see the characteristics of any leader. First structure is the habit and habitat. Here's the habitat. Any leaders are found in almost all temperate and the tropical regions of the world. Many species live in the damp soil, fresh water, and some live in the deep sea water. A few species drag their burrows in stone and soil to live there. Now, general characteristics, body tubular and the segmented. Everyone see the word. This structure is the tube-shaped structure and they are, they are basically the structure is the segmented and also the ring shape. Each segment contains CT that help in the locomotion. Exception, no CT in the disc. Here's the segments. This structure is this structure. Another name is the city, and they can also the movement one place to the another place. And the third is the nephridia present as excretory system. Their main basically their main structure is the nephridia. Please everyone underline these words. Nephridia. Nephridia and another structure is the excretory organ system. Example. First example is the earthworm and second is the leaf. My dear students, I hope everyone know these words basically. Uh, in leader, again I also repeat, in leader means the ring shaped structure and these words come from the Latin words. Six phylum. Six phylum is the Arthropoda. You know what's the meaning of Arthropoda? Arthro. Arthro means the segmented poda means leg. This structure, please you see the boards. This structure is the third segmented in the legs. Here. And also the arthropoda. These words come from the Latin words. Arthropoda. Habit and habitat. Arthropoda is the largest phylum of the animal kingdom. Yes. This phylum is the largest amount of the largest structure and also the characteristics. They can live everywhere and in every environment around the globe. Many species of them live as endoparasite and ectoparasite. Endo and ecto. Here's the endo is the inner inner structure. They can also the any living organism. This word is the endo and ecto. Ecto is the outer. And outer means they can also leave the outer space on the outer in this the world. Endoparasite and ectoparasite. Many of them can survive on land, in fresh water and in brackish seawater. Many species of this phylum can fly with the help of wings. General characteristics. Body is segmented and joint appendages are present. Head bears a pair of compound eyes and the antenna. Here is this, here this, this structure is the compound eyes. I just draw this structure and they can also the, they have also the antenna and this antenna. And next structure is the soft body is covered with hard cutaneous exoskeleton. Cutaneous, you know the cockroaches, they have the brown shape outer layer. In the brown shaped outer layer is the another name is the chitinous. Chitin basically they also form the chitin structure. Chitinous and the exoskeleton. Exo that means the outer skeleton. Next 
body cavity filled with blood and is the another name is the hemocyl you know in the man and also the encordata they have also the hemoglobin and the now the atrobada they have also the hemo hemocyl and also the hemocyanin and also that their color is the blue shaped structure and the blue shaped color and then i just explain body cavity filled with blood and is known as the hemocyl example first example is the butterfly second is the prawn cockroach and also the crab my dear students, I just explained two phylum. First phylum is the Anelida and second phylum is the Arthropoda. Third phylum, the Mollusca and also the Ornamental Animals. Ornamental Animals, basically their outer structure is the ornaments. Now, habit and habitat. Now, I just explained the Mollusca. The members of this phylum show diversity in their form, habit and habitat. They live in almost all environment of the world. They are mostly marine and live in different zones of the sea. Some species live hills and forests. Well, some live in fresh water. In the San Martin and also the Cox Brothers, they have the enough, enough, this, this phylum and also the mollusca. Basically, their outer structure, their main structure is the outer structure. They are also the show, the ornamental structure. General characteristics, soft body, usually covered with hard shape. Muscular food used for locomotion. Gaseous extent, respiration takes place by lungs or breath. First structure, I just draw this structure. It's also the soft structure and it's also the hard shaped structure. In the hard shaped structure, their another name is the shape. Basically, they are formed about the calcium carbonate structure. And muscular food used for locomotion. Muscular foods. This structure is the muscular foods and is also the form of the muscles and also the muscular foods for their help also the locomotion. Gaseous exchange, respiration takes place by lungs or glitz. Example, snake and also the muscles. Our eight phylum, eight phylum is the echinodermata. Helps the echinodermata. Habit, I just explained about the habit and habitat. Echinoderms are all males. They occur in all oceans of the world and at all the depths. None of the members is found on land and in the fresh water. Most of them live independently. Now, general characteristics. Dermal skin bears spine. Here I just draw this structure and also the another name is the starfish. They are they live also the marine marine land. In the marine island, there is the, the outer layer is the spine shaped structure. Two structure is the body is divided into five equal parts. Example, pentameras. Pentameras, penta means five structures, one structure, two structure, three, four, five. A unique water vascular system is present and locomotion is done by two feet. No distinct heart. No distinct head, dorsal and ventral surface in adults. Example, starfish, sea cucumber. Again, I just explained. First structure is the dermal skin, bears spine. This structure is the outer layers and also the spine. Body is divided into five equal parts. Five equal parts, another name is the pentameras. A unique water. Vascular system is present. A unique water vascular system. They are also the another structure. This structure is a vascular system and is present. And locomotion is done by tube feet. Tube feet. We also know this. Uh, this also the city. They can also the movement. And another structure is the arthropoda. They have the segmented leg. They can also movement and. Uh, seven is the mollusca here, they have the muscular feet and they can also the movement and the starfish and also the another name is echinodermata 
and the starfish they have also the tip feet i just draw this structure is the tip feet they have the this type shape and another name is the tip feet structure no distinct head dorsal and ventral surface in adults example starfish and sea cucumber my dear students i have just finished the invertebrate and also the invertebrate animals they have also the caudata this structure now I, uh, my dear students i have just finished today this topics thank you